When NASA announced that the James Webb Space Telescope had arrived at its final destination, I, like many other space enthusiasts, felt those goosebumps. The thought that this human-made thing can see the birth of the universe just blows my mind. Dealing with the infamous 344 single points of failure in the midst of the voyage was like a child's play for NASA. However, as per NASA, this is just the beginning of the mission, and there are several other challenges that await us. So in this video we'll address some of the unanswered questions, such as, what's next for NASA? How long will Webb take to go online? And most importantly, what cosmic body has NASA decided as its first target? As many of you might know, the scientists had to go for a segmented mirror design rather than a single-piece mirror due to difficulties in transportation. It's now time for the telescope to align its 18 hexagonal mirrors to form one 6.5-meter wide telescope. However, in order to do so, the telescope will require the help of a point to focus in space. So after a lot of discussions, NASA finally revealed to the world the first thing the James Webb Space Telescope will look at. The first target of Webb will be a lonely star located in the constellation Ursa Major. This bright and lonely star, named HD 84406, will suddenly become everyone's center of attraction. Although it is around 260 light-years away, this sun-like star is hardly visible to the human eye from Earth. This is because the star has a lower magnitude of brightness, despite the fact that the telescope is still many months away from making its first official scientific observations. This star will greatly improve the telescope's imaging skills. Keep in mind that this star will not be researched by the observatory once it formally begins its science operations. Each of the 18 mirror segments will display a different image that will be blurry due to the fact that they are not aligned. But it will be with the help of these blurry images that the James Webb team will begin the time-consuming process of aligning the individual segments so that they end up working as one big mirror, capable of showing crystal clear images. This exceedingly slow process of mirror unification will take three months since each mirror segment travels at an extremely slow rate, specifically in the micron and nanometer ranges. You'll be surprised to know that this distance is less than the diameter of a single hydrogen atom. Kudos to the NASA teams for doing such a fantastic job. After the mirrors have been aligned, the telescope will start the final stages of commissioning and calibration of the scientific equipment while observing representative targets, with the amazing part being that these representative pictures will be made available to the public as early release observations, showcasing Webb's powers. This commissioning and calibration procedure will take another two months, completing the six months nourishment period of a telescope. The telescope will finally start to open new chapters of the universe as scientists give the go-ahead for the long-awaited and groundbreaking science activities that promise to provide hundreds of new and fresh revolutionary discoveries about the cosmos throughout the course of its existence. Let us take a minute to thank the scientists who are working so hard to help humanity find its place in the universe. Are you excited about the James Webb Space Telescope? And what do you think will be the greatest achievement of it? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribing the channel if you like the video. And as always, thanks for watching.